transformations in films is something that always fascinated me and, and you know the, the Jekyll and Hyde movies and I always liked seeing that transformation from man to animal you know and the Frederick March Jekyll and Hyde did some really clever things a lot of clever things one of them and something you could only do in black and white is this red green thing where they would do a makeup in red paint the shadows in red and light it with a red light and in black and white the red disappeared and then they would fade off the red light and fade up a, a, a green light which made the red turn black so you would actually see you know him look normal and all of a sudden these shadows and these things would appear but they also did some really clever things just with camera moves where the camera would do this quick pan down to his hand and during that pan they would do a cut and then it was like a different makeup there's an extreme difference between the Frederick March Jekyll and Hyde and the Spencer Tracy Jekyll and Hyde, but I actually quite like the Spencer Tracy Jekyll and Hyde as well. I mean, I, if I had to choose, the, you know, because I'm a monster movie fan, the Frederick March one is much cooler as far as monsters go. The Spencer Tracy one, though, is a very cool makeup. I mean, there's definitely a difference there, and, and it's a more believable Hyde. I mean, if you saw Frederick March in the pub or wherever he is, you know, the people would like look at him and what's this like caveman guy doing here, you know? The Spencer Tracy one you would accept as a human, you know? And it's probably a tougher makeup because it was more on the human side, you know? And it's really kind of hard to figure out what they did. You know, when you look at it, you see Spencer Tracy, but you see him different. Did you think that Dr. Jekyll was falling in love with you? You with your cheap little dreams? Or did you think perhaps that in him you saw a bit of me hide? In most Jekyll and Hyde movies, there is a progressive deterioration kind of, I mean, it gets worse as every time he changes, more so in the March version, but in Spencer Tracy as well. He gets progressively more and more haggard, and they did a thing where they, you know, glued his eyelids down, uh, probably silk organza glued to his eye and glued down here, pulling him down, and they're really pulled down at the end, boy. It's like, it must have really hurt, you know? Uh, it looks cool, <laughs> you know, but he's definitely a lot, a lot worse off at the end of that movie than he is in the beginning, you know. Same with uh, Tracy, though. I'm Dr. Jekyll. I'm Dr. Henry Jekyll, I tell you. I've done nothing. You're looking for a man named Hyde. Obviously, there's a wig, and there's some clever things with the teeth, and you kind of think jutted out of his jaw more, too. I mean, they gave him bigger eye bags and bigger stuff like that. I'm Dr. Jekyll. I tell you, I tell you, I'm Dr. Jekyll. The Frederick March makeup, if that was put on Spencer Tracy in that film, it wouldn't have worked as well, you know, uh, and vice versa, you know. So it's, you know, it's just, again, artistic decisions and, 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 uh, and I think the right ones for the, for the movies. Star of the Month, Frederick March, transforms from doctor to monster with the help of some serious makeup in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Tuesday at 8 p.m., only on Turner Classic Movies.